Hey designer, welcome to a new video. In this little clip you will see a robot scene where I test ray tracing on Evinext on Blender 4.1 alpha version. So what's new with ray tracing? Evinext introduced ray tracing that improved the scene and it made similar to cycles with three main parameters. Reflection, refraction and diffusion. Reflection improve how lights of the object are reflecting on the scene. Refraction calculate different light bounces before reaching the object. And diffusion make the lights with multiple range shadow and mid tone with clear realism. Next clip are about uh, vertex, shader and real time displacements. The first two works with a geometry node with the different parameters that you can set. And the last one works with shader nodes based on different force that move the grass on the ground. Then uh, you can see a scene of uh, fish animation with uh, caustic that are simulated on EV Classic and EV Next and uh, rea uh, realistic on uh, the cycles. You can see also the different uh, scene with uh, different render results from uh, EV to EV Next and cycles. There is also a real-time viewport with a comparison between cycles and uh, EV Next. The result is pretty good. And the last scene is about uh, the shoe about uh, Derek Elliot that uh, show basically the difference between EV and EV Next. EV Next uh, works uh, with uh, ray tracing. They uh, use uh, the trip environment uh, that I mentioned before, reflection, refraction, diffusion, and uh, it's uh, lighter than EV uh, and work faster with uh, uh, uploading shader.